Okay, welcome back to my channel where I have another DIY mixture video and this one helps rejuvenate hair, especially when your hair is super, super dry. So if you want to see how I made this mixture, which helps with moisture and also has helped with length, please continue to watch. Okay, so let's jump straight into the ingredients. You see here what I have. This is what you'll need to make this. So we have green tea. Of course, green tea is amazing. It is antioxidant rich and vitamin C rich. Okay, it moisturizes hair, gets it super moisturized, and it smooths hair. But the reason that I love green tea for my mixtures is because of the bit of caffeine that it has in it. The little bit of caffeine that it has does help block DHT hormones and that does help with less shedding and it helps decrease shedding. So next we have the thyme. Thyme is great and increases blood flow and decreases dandruff which is very important for me especially with what I'm going through now with my scalp it's not doing the best. And then we have Brahmi. This is another Indian kind of spice and powder that is very commonly used in hair in India from what I understand and it's great. It thickens hair and is a national or natural rather conditioner. So I love it. So let's get into how we make this. We just want to have some water, have the water boiling. Um, it's great to have everything boiled together. At least that's the way I prefer to do it. So I start off with the boiling water, drop a tea bag in there, as you saw, drop in just, you know, some leaves of thyme, nothing crazy. And then a bit of brahmi, keep that, cover it and let it boil. Once it gets to a boil, you have it here. I like to transfer it into a bowl just so that I can sit it out and let it cool down. It's very important to let it cool before you add it to a plastic bottle, especially. Um, a lot of people like to use glass things, but my spray bottle is plastic. Hello, okay? It's plastic. I don't have the money for the glass bottle. So you definitely don't want it to be hot or you might have some of the leakage from that plastic into your mixture, which is not what we want. Love this mixture. This is how it looks when it is all done. And now we're getting into how I use it on my hair. This is a mixture that I highly recommend for if your hair is super dry. Now for me personally, I wear my protective styles anywhere from two to three weeks. So by the end of my protective style cycle and when it is wash day, it is always more than likely pretty, pretty dry. And me can't deal with that. Me can't bother with that, okay? <laughs> so that is why I incorporate a lot of these DIY mixtures and that I have been trying to incorporate them. And they've been helping my hair grow. They've been really helping my hair grow. Let's be real. Let's be honest, okay? So this is just how my hair looks once it is freshly washed. That's how I prefer to do this. I prefer to put this mixture on freshly washed hair because you don't want to wash this out. You do not want to wash this out. I prefer not to wash this out. You can if you like. I know there's some people that just do not like any kind of products um, DIY food stuff in their hair long term. So if you're one of those people, if you're one of those persons, then you can definitely do this while you're deep conditioning and then go into the shower, wash and detangle everything off and then come out and do your regular routine. But for me, this is a mixture that I like to leave in. That's how I find it to work the best. So of course I want to get it on the hair. You want to get it on the hair shaft, but I especially love getting it on my scalp. I want to get it on my scalp because of the time. The time, as I said, increases blood flow, decreases dandruff by decreasing inflammation. It's something that's very important to me. It contains thymol, which is an antibacterial and an antifungal. So that to me is something that is very useful for the scalp. Brahmi as well. Thickens hair, natural conditioner, contains alkaloids, increases protein in hair follicles, your hair is stronger, prevents hair fall, it has calcium, vitamin C, zinc, and prevents split ends. So of course that's something that I want to get on my scalp, but also on the length of my hair. And this is it. You see my hair, I love the way that it helps my hair feel more moisturized. It just, you can automatically see that shine there, which I also like. Um, and that definitely is caused by the green tea, which does smooth your hair. So I just, I just love it. So after I put all of that in my hair, I then continue on with the rest of my after wash day routine as normal. So I put in my products. You know me, I love my leave-in conditioner, my Giovanni's. 
direct weightless leave-in. So I put that in and then follow up with whatever cream that I'm using. I don't particularly know which one I use in this video, but I follow up with the cream and then I like to follow up with my hair growth oil. If you're interested in a hair growth oil, click my link. It's always linked in my description box. It has 13 different oils. Hello, 13 different oils. All of them made specifically with stimulating hair growth at the scalp. All of those oils have been added in there. So click that link down below if you're interested in that. And so that's what I use. And then once I'm done with that section, I twist it up and move on to the next section. And you can see we're going back in again with the DIY mixture because I like to get it in all the sections. And this is pretty much how I do my hair. Now, as much as I talk about DIY products or my hair growth oil, it's very important that you are treating your hair gently and kindly. No matter how much topical stuff you put on your hair, if you are rough housing, if you're manhandling your hair, you're just not gonna see results like that. Protective styling, especially for kinkier textures, is important. And if not 100% protective styles, just low manipulation in general is a great approach. Coupled with all these DIYs that I have, you're just, you're just gonna see such amazing results. Highly recommend it. You can check out all the other DIYs that I do have on my channel. And more will be coming soon. I'm very excited to get more going in the new year. So please do stick around because there will be a lot coming. Love this stuff. Make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram if you're interested. And I will see you in the new year and in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care.